project time, reef DVM. So the farmhouse here had a little higher than average radon level. So um, we did a radon mitigation on it. And uh, for those who are asking, um, I thought I'd show you the whole entire process. Yes, it's a long process. It first starts by uh, drilling a hole through our 6-inch concrete floor to tap into our sump line so that we can uh, basically suck the bad radon out um, from below the concrete or you know, depressurize that and uh, pump it out into the atmosphere instead of letting it creep into our house. So a little bit of speeding up the video through this so it doesn't get too terribly long I'm trying to keep this video under um, 10 15 minutes but we're gonna run it all the way up the concrete wall uh, punch through the foam there uh, end up in the garage we're gonna go up into the garage and get up into the attic space and uh, that's where we're gonna put the fan the fan's gonna suck air from below the concrete pad where the radon is and then uh, vent it up into the atmosphere out the roof um, Drilling through concrete, uh, what can I say, it's a, a dusty, noisy job, but if you just take the time to get through it, in this case we're trying to drill about a four and a half inch hole, because we're going to put a four inch PVC pipe down in here, um, right on top of basically the, uh, the sump line so that we can uh, pull, the, pull the air out. So there's our uh, four inch PVC coming through the, the uh, insulating foam there. Um, and we'll cut that off and put a 90 on it and come right down the wall there, right behind that uh, dryer vent line. And then here it is. Uh, we're in the concrete now. We've got it in the concrete about six inches down. We've got a couple 45s. We've attached it to the wall and then uh, up a 90 and out into the garage. You're not going to see a lot of pictures of myself and, and, and the family doing the work because it's, it's hard to hold the camera at the same time, especially when you're kind of. DIY in this project to a degree. <laughs> so what we're going to do there at the base is we're going to seal that in so that that pipe can't move at all and uh, we'll seal all the cracks there. As far as crack sealing goes, basically find as many cracks as you can and seal them up. They tell you that you only got to do within 10 feet of where you're pulling the air, but I did the whole entire basement. Um, and what I basically did is this is a crack that was put in on purpose. There's a piece of plastic down there to help the concrete crack when we poured the floor. I got myself some 3006, uh, basically some really good sealant that's uh, made out of uh, um, an elastomer silicone, um, which allows it to stretch and move with the floor as the floor moves a little bit throughout the winter and summer seasons. Um, the other thing that you got to do is you got to plug all your holes. And this is our, our sump system. It's got a water alarm in it. And... Uh, it doesn't really seal up the way I want. So for this, we're going to get a um, sump cover that's made for a radon system. I like these because um, if I was to take the other one and silicone it down, I'd have to break the silicone every time I want to get to the pump. Uh, this one has, a, uh, as you can see here, a, a gasket built into the cover that folds down. So to get to the pump, you unbolt it and flip it over, as you can see, and there's the gasket. Um, so when I want to get to the pump, I can just basically unbolt it, swivel this out of the way, and uh, I can do my maintenance and my repairs on the, on the pump. A lot of parts come with this. This thing is pretty interchangeable for most systems. I'll try and lay these all out so you can see. But basically, these are the different ends. Basically, to match whatever pipe system um, you have. We did not choose to uh, put the vent system into the sump well. Because of the sump well being in the uh, fruit cellar and not having good attic space above it. So we're just basically going to um, cover the sump and make it airtight so that radon can't escape from it. And then over in the laundry room is, like I said, is where we actually drill the hole in the concrete and then put the pipe that's going to go up in the garage with the fans. So this process just takes a little time to figure out how to get your PVC pipe to seal up. Not much more I can say, but other than playing with it, uh, again, we speed the video up here so you're not bored by this. Once I figure out the correct fittings to put this together, it went together pretty easy. I'd say this whole project took, uh, with the sump cover, that is, about maybe two hours. And then the nice thing is, is it comes with all these rubber boots and stuff, so you can run the cords through it. You can even seal the hole where the cords come up. 
I'm going to punch an extra hole in this um, because I'm going to put my water alarm back in. My water alarm is set so that if the pump fails and it goes about another inch beyond where the pump would normally run, and it emits a high-pitched alarm in the basement so that I know to come down and, and check my system. So a um, simple device can be bought at any uh, you know hardware store in the area. I think this one was bought from Menards. So battery operated, uh, very easy device. Then I'm just going to seal down all the, the rubber gaskets, and then we'll get ready to install the pump again. I did take the pump out because I didn't like the way this system was originally set up. Um, I'm going to make sure I've got a disconnect both on the top and the bottom of the cover. Unlike before, it was plumbed in with only one disconnect, which for me then to take the pump out meant I had to take out about five feet of PVC pipe, which is kind of a pain. I don't take the pump out often, but once a year I do like to take it out and inspect it to make sure it's working properly. So we're going to cut some new fittings and uh, we'll PVC glue it up and uh, make sure that everything is nice and solid. And then uh, we'll do a water test on it and uh, the system should be up and running for uh, preventing radon from coming up the uh, sump basket. I choose to use a, a PVC glue here and a primer that were all clear, so this time I won't have the ugly purple uh, showing as much, which makes it a little nicer for me. Be a little more cosmetic. And then once I get this cover all back together, I'll put the shelving back over the top, and the fruit cellar will go back to being uh, used as normal. Uh, we're just putting on the top disconnect. Once we get that out, I'm going to put the gasket and seal on here that go through the sump cover. So I just got to try to fit this a couple times. Once I get that in, it's just a matter of cutting the PVC pipe to connect to the pump. This is all inch and a half, um, basically what the pump came with. Just above the pump down there, there is a uh, check valve uh, to stop the water from coming back down, too. I know you can't see it in the kit, but um, it's a little hard to show. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some uh, PL, um, I think it's 300. And I'm just going to seal the uh, outer structure of the lid down to the concrete to get a nice airtight seal and also make sure that the system doesn't move around. And this cover also has um, five or six bolt down points too. Where if you wanted to, you could drill into the concrete and actually bolt this cover down. But uh, the PL will work fine for me. Nobody's going to be under here to bump it, so it should work great. Take a look inside the pump there. You can see where the pump is, the disconnect, the check valve. Um, should all work great. Now we're going to put the cover on it with the water alarm and the plug-ins in. We're going to put our last section of pipe in. And again, I've got disconnects now both on the top and the bottom, which make this a lot easier project to do. And it's just a matter of bolting down the cover to seal the gasket and uh, making sure the water alarm and the cords are all out of the way. And then uh, I'm ready to pretty much water test this system. Worked out great, folks. Um, I think the cover cost about 90 bucks. Uh, the PL300 was about three or four bucks. 
and the PVC supplies that I put into this were about $15. So probably got about $120 in applying a radon sump cover. And then here's the finished product after we got the water test done. This is kind of how the whole system looks as far as the sump cover. And again, you want access, just unbolt it, and you can get access to your pump and system. So we've sealed the cracks. We've got the sump cover in place, and now we're in the garage. Um, and what we've basically done is we've drilled a hole into the attic space, and uh, we're going to put a 4-inch pipe up there. And uh, we're going to put the, the pipe um, into the attic. And we're PVC gluing these all up. So there's the pipe that goes up into the attic right now. That little white piece of paper was just a marker there. We'll take that down later. Um, I got a boot for going into the roof. It's one of these uh, cozy boots. It comes with a template, um, a rubber boot, um, gasket, sealant, and uh, some uh, screws and hardware to mount it. These are kind of nice because uh, they seal in any roof and they seal really well. They're used for commercial. So here's the pipe coming up into the attic. We'll put a 90 on this and then we'll make sure that this has probably a close to a 3% pitch so that any water coming down it will go right down into the sump. So we're going to kind of work with that here. Um, this is the pipe in place as it runs over to the side of the house where I've got most of my plumbing pipes so it won't be in the front of the house. And then we've got a very large fan there that we're putting on it. And that fan is made to handle um, some moisture. It's got basically boots on the top and the bottom of it to connect it to the 4-inch pipe, which is great. And it's got an electrical box on it, so you can uh, hardwire your Romex uh, right to it. And then, in this case, we'll run that to a switch and then that to a breaker. So we'll have that all set up. We need to cut our uh, hole for a cozy boot so we can put the pipe to the outside here. So that's what we're doing right now. A um, little bit noisy with the saw and a little dusty obviously in the attic space so it's a little hard to shoot this video but uh, you get the idea of what we did here in a second. Okay so now we've got the, the cozy boot installed. We've got a pitch to this um, which is good, so the water can drain all the way back down into the sump line if it needs to. Um, and the fan is hooked up. I've got the Romex running um, all up to code um, into a switch, the switch into the breaker, um, and it's a 15 amp breaker. So this should work great. Um, should be a nice, steady system. So at this point, um, everything is installed. I'll walk down here and uh, try and uh, show you the uh, the boot system that's up here. Again, this is a cozy boot. So these cozy boots work great. Uh, they seal up really nice, folks. They can always be removed just by unbolting them and popping them free. Highly recommend those for putting one of these in your roof. And then here's the finished product on the, on the downstairs side here of the garage. Um, I did uh, follow code and installed a fire gasket ring because this goes into my house so if that gets to a certain temperature that thing expands like 600 percent and seals it off and then of course um, you have to have a, a flow meter so um, it's reading zero right now and if i uh, turn the switch on now to the fan as you can see here it's gonna start sucking air and uh, considering this has uh, 245s and uh, five 90 degree elbows and goes up over 29 feet to get to my roof. Um, we're getting um, a reading here of about one and a half, which is really, really pretty good. I'm very pleased with that. Uh, we should be able to take that uh, radon value down to a very nice level. Uh, we're hoping to get it down to about 1.5 or less. So um, now we got to do some uh, testing in the next week and see where it ends up. And uh, I'll let you know how it goes. And as you can see, I have another fire ring there at the top of the ceiling. Thank you for watching, folks. Please subscribe to our channel to see more projects that we do around the farm here. And uh, again, like the video if you can, show support, and we'll keep putting out good videos like this.